And I want to introduce you to our guest speaker. Uh, he comes to us from John Jay College of Criminal Justice. He's a professor in the economics department. Uh, he is a certified public accountant and a certified fraud examiner, right? And he also holds a PhD. So uh, we invited him here today to talk about career opportunities in forensic accounting. And his name is Randy LaSalle. Let's give him a nice round hand of applause to welcome him. You know, one thing accountants, uh, I'm told, have a problem is they can't think like crooks. And one of the things we'll teach you at John Jay is how to think like a crook if you don't know already. So I go down to Circuit City. I go buy a brand new one. Step one. <laughs> Nobody's with me yet. Maybe one. <laughs> I know how to look like one, a fraudster if I want. Uh, it's always, by the way, someone you trust, which is it's kind of funny. Every time I read a story is, oh, gee, but we trusted him. Well, you know, no kidding. <laughs> you know, we always trust the fraudster. It shouldn't come as a surprise. It's always someone we trust. Right. But okay, back to my Sony story. Uh, I got one person on board anyway. So I go in there and I buy a new one. I walk out to the parking lot. I got my best suit on. I get a razor blade out. Nope, no more. <laughs> I cut out the old one, stick in the, no, I cut out the new one, right? I cut out the new one with my razor blade. I stick my old one in. Maybe the same day, maybe another time. But I walk in and I, I, I plop it on the counter and, and I say, um, gee, this thing doesn't work. Can I have a new one? Or a return or get my money back or something like that? It sounds like I'm ragging on the SEC. Well, well, maybe I am. But they have, my point is they haven't been trained to recognize a fraud. They haven't been trained to investigate.